Story 3, Defeat 4 Ducks! Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 4 for another episode of Wario Land 2. In the last episode, we entered the castle, I guess, I don't remember. It was so long ago, in this episode, we have to defeat four ducks. You can notice that's a one. It's the number one. Uh, the four ducks here are just those, uh ducks that throw the uh, the boomerangs around, they're just a little, I don't know if they're more powerful, but pretty much you have each of the four rooms is a different challenge, which I really like. This room is the zombie challenge, as you can tell. Uh, I failed the first time, of course, I always fail that first time, but the music here is like a little lackluster, but eh. Whee! Ha ha ha! No! No coins! Must get coins! I'm glad to be recording today, I didn't think I'd have time because I was working outside on the farm, but yeah. Uh, last episode of Wario Land 2, um, got over a hundred views, so I was like, whoa ho ho uh, I didn't think that, uh, oh god, I went right into that, didn't I? I didn't think that any of the, any of the episodes would get that popular, so, thank you, people. Thank you a lot. You're so kind. Oh ho, you almost got me there, you rogue you. Ha 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 ha, I almost jumped into that guy. And if you could tell this guy, ah, ah, Wario. Wario, you with your ground pound and your your inability to hold a skeletal structure. Oh. Like, see, he just squishes there. It's amazing, really. Ugh. I wonder if he has bones. That's a good question. I know he has bones in his butt because, you know, fat doesn't go boom. It just goes boom. But, you know, I wonder if he has a skeletal structure aside from his butt. It, it, you know, it's one of the great questions of our time. Let's just wait till this man passes. And, of course, there's more coins over there. Must get coins. Ah! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, 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 snap, I made that. Ha, ha. That's a duck. That is a duck. I've stated the obvious. I'm not gonna bother breaking all these blocks, I'm gonna kill the duck. Yeah, and it makes a sound. And uh, the last duck that you kill, you don't have to do, do this in order, by the way. I'm just doing it in a semi-order -or form. Because you have to get a switch at some point in order to switch the blocks here, which the switch room is in here, in the zero room. So I may as well do that now. Even though... Actually, you know what? Let's not. Let's just go to the other room so that we only have to do the switch once. How about that? Huh? 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 That's a four. The last duck, obviously, is going to make that da 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 sound. Uh, this is actually a very interesting area. You have these mice that continually come out of the hole here. Uh, is he still down there? Yes, he is. Okay, now this mouse... Ow. Um, this mouse, actually, you can use to jump on. Ow. Uh, there's actually two ways to get across here. Uh, one is to hurt yourself backward. You see, it kind of just propels you. Okay. Unfortunately, that method also decreases your coins by a lot. So, ooh, I don't have enough. Oh, I do. Oh, I have to try hard over here. Let's see what happens. Because I don't have enough for normal. Okay. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. Oh, come on, dude. Focus. Is it the first one? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, snap. Do you see how, like, different that was? Like, it, it's like... Oh, man, that was close. I got some sort of black jewel or cannonball or something. But, yeah, you're supposed to... You're supposed... You're supposed to like propel yourself across by jumping on the mice here, the mite, the me ice here, but um, it's really hard. Ow. <laughs> so yeah, you lose a lot of coins that way, but it's to get the treasure, so I deem it worth it. Anyway, so mouse comes up here, and you lead him up the stairs, and then you lead him over here, and you just jump over him. And is this, uh, no, okay, and, let's see, did he go across this way, so you have to use the mouse to jump over there, it's pretty ingenious, actually, 
you know, leading enemies like that. And the mice are ever spawning, so don't worry about that. At least I think they are. And this mouse actually... Yeah, actually... Actually, you actually, yeah. This mouse you actually have to lead uh, a bit more, I think. Yeah, see? To get more coins! Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Actually... <laughs> Look how smart I am. I used a brain. It's a duck. And some of these duck puzzles are also pretty clever. So the duck is walking on a enemy-only platform, which Wario can't walk on, so you have to get this ice cube. I call it an ice cube, and just knock it down, and then... Very nice. Now we have two ducks down, and something to go. Well, two to go, really. But don't tell anybody. It's a secret to everybody. Okay, so let's go to the switcheroo room. And avoid Mr. Bird, Angry Bird. And go up here. And avoid another Angry Bird. Whee! And falling platform, but we don't need to go in here anymore, so goodbye, birds. Let's go down to three. Look, it's the number three. Three is for three. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> Thank you. I really help. Okay, so here, what you actually want to do is try to, like, make a little staircase for yourself or something, because, uh, this... <sighs> stupid. This, like, there's stuff up there. Okay, so let's see if we can get up here. There we go, look at that. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. This is not necessary to go through it all, though, so don't worry if you miss it. It's just, surprise, surprise, coins, coins, and more coins. And there's actually enemy blocks up there. I believe. No? Oh, no, it's not. Huh. I thought there was like something up there, but there isn't, so I'm just gonna go and kill this guy and. Okay, come here. Good boy. I'm gonna kill you. <gasps> Who's gonna kill you? I just wanna break all these because. Because I can. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Yes. And, uh, I'm not gonna bother with those. I mean, we can. We can just go blah, 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 except it just takes a long time and it's unnecessary. Let's just kill that third duck. Like that. <laughs> yeah, like I said, that's an enemy only platform, so you just have to time it right. Okay, okay, I'll throw it. Just for old time's sake, how about that? Now you can. Go to the last one. This board isn't too hard, but I like it because it's clever. There's different puzzles incorporated into different rooms. Uh, this was copied in... Oh, this is copied from other games, I should say. Like, uh, Yoshi's Island had uh, something at this point. Uh, not at this point, like something like this. Okay, so here, you actually have to become a zombie, right? Over here. And you zombie yourself down. And go across here. Up and up and up, higher and higher. And... That looks very suspicious. I, I just have to see something, I'm sorry, one second. This, these blocks here just confuse me. It looks like switch blocks, but I can't tell, and I'm not gonna bother with it. And the last one... That's sad. Do, 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 do. <laughs> How should I dispose of you? Nah, just do it the old-fashioned way. Kaboom! <laughs> Oh, Wario, you're so happy with yourself. Yeah, give me the money. Play. Play the game tonight. Can you tell me if 
if it's wrong or right Is it worth the time? Is it worth the price? Do you see yourself in a bright spotlight? And play the game tonight It's a six or an eight Um... It's a six or an eight It's a six The song I was singing, by the way, is called Play the Game by Kansas. It's a great song. When the curtains open To the roaring of the crown You will feel it all around you Find the hidden door! Okay, this board is fun. You know why? Because there's so much hidden stuff. This is... This reminds, like, I like this because, remember the first board in the game? If you don't remember, that's okay. I have a bad memory, too. But the first board in the game was just so many hidden things upon hidden things upon hidden things. And now, one of the last boards in the game is the same. You get to, uh, just a general rule, uh, blocks with the skull faces are not going to be breakable. So, but yeah, uh, so this game... It just like goes back to its roots here. Like it's it's back to the first board. You just search around, hit everything and anything because something is gonna break. And it's just it's wonderful. I really really love this aspect of the game. So not everything leads places. You can see this is a dead end here. Uh, you also just want to bang the ground. But uh, actually, there's another board like this too. But you know that's not the hidden door by the way. That's just a door. So yeah, it's just the the game is just this board is full of opportunity, and I just really love that. That guy just gonna hurt you, and it's just it's beautiful. It really is. Uh, this is one of the most masterfully puzzlerific video games I've played, and I I just can't get over the how much I how much I love doing boards like this. Uh, it's actually somewhere. You don't want to kill all the enemies because some of them are like going to be useful for hitting through places and yeah, that's a dead end there, so yay. Uh, some of these areas you also just have to be careful because you can like break the upper part but it's not readily apparent and you know, if you break some blocks then it's not going to woik anymore. Yeah, I said the word woik instead of work. Oh, 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 you, you, you little cheater face. Yeah, so I, I just love this. I do. And, you know, right after I said, yes, you're right there. Right after I said conserve enemies, I, I start killing them, so. I ever tell you I'm a hypocrite? Because I am. And let's see what's over here. Oh, something has to be here. Okay, boy, let's just blah, blah, blah. Something else in this room. Oh, down here, idiot. Idiot. This is a passage now. Okay, fine. Let's check what goes over here. And there. Very nice. See, that just leads nowhere. Leave. But the passage underneath it is the one that goes there. And that's beautiful right there. So many coins. It's just, you know, you're already nostalgic about the first part of the game. It's wonderful. Um, you don't get stuck down there, but I just don't. I don't want to do that yet. So yeah, that leads nowhere. Took the midnight train going anywhere. Let's see what's over here. <laughs> I killed you. And there's... Loudrids. Oh ho ho ho, that was a nasty little trap right there. You see that? That's a Mega Man style trap. And I say that with almost no experience playing regular Mega Man games except for Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. And watching a ROM hack that Noopy Bong just start doing on Mega Man uh, 2 for the NES. Uh, Mega Man Ultra, which is pretty good so far. I only saw one episode, uh, but because uh, I was busy today, but it looks like a good LP. Yeah, check it out. Uh, 
friend Frozen Train was saying yesterday, uh, talking about um, you know the LP community just you know getting together, you know shoutouts and stuff. And I think that I, I always thought that was important. Uh, if you guys know, uh, if you remember from the early times, I was shouting out people left and right. And even though no one really listens to my <laughs> my shoutouts. Um, you know, I don't know if I've inspired anyone to actually go subscribe to other channels or check them out or whatever, but it's definitely a good idea to just, you know, show a little, show a little love here and there to people that you like, uh, you know, channels that you think are good, because it's, you know, it's it's the right thing to do, really. It is. Uh, you know, I I. You know the people that I have in my in my channel box, or the whatever they're called these days. I give my full support to with their channels. You know I I watch their videos and stuff, and you know I think that that to these days you know people need to help each other out more because there's a lot of hate that goes on and people saying you know you don't deserve to be a YouTuber or things like that and it's not right. It's not right. You know. If you have nothing good to say, don't say it at all, but, you know, I try to have good things to say about people. If I don't like a channel, I don't say anything bad about it, I just don't watch it, and I don't talk about it. But if I like a channel, or if I like a Let's Player or think he's a good person, then I'd say something. I mean, I made a bazillion shoutouts uh, when I did my one year Let's Playing anniversary video, so some people might say, well, you did that already, but uh, it's never, never too much. Some people might not enjoy shoutouts just because they think it's, I don't know, an illegitimate way of getting subscribers. I don't tell people to subscribe to other channels, I tell them to check them out because if you subscribe to a channel and you don't really want to, then that's that's just bad for everybody because you feel guilty and then the other person thinks that he has a real watcher and this and that and the other thing, but, you know, if you're, if you're you know, serious about liking the channel, you know, it, at least, at least give somebody a chance, you know, if you, if you have the time, check out people's videos, especially the people that I mentioned, uh, you know, people like Newfie Bonker or, or, uh, you know, um, my friend Wade Wilson123, or, uh, UderJelf911, you know, just check out my channel box, um, and the people there, you know, Lancer D1984, you know, these people are, are good Let's Players. I think they're very funny. They think I'm funny, which is even more amazing. Believe me, it is. <laughs> and, you know, they, they, they deserve at least a, a look. And, you know, if you're a Let's Player, you know, you never know, you never know what a, what a nice comment or, you know, a... A, a brief shout out will will get someone. You know, it might it might go nowhere. I don't think that people, you know, will actually check out those channels just because I asked them to. And, but you know, sometimes it is. You know, one one day, you know, someone might say, hey, I, you know, Sephiroth sent me to this channel or whatever. And, you know, that'll make me happy. That'll make them happy, and uh, everybody's happy. You know, you find a good let's pair to, player to watch. And uh, the community thrives uh, even further on uh, the uh, friendship, you know, between people, and you know that's really what we need here because that's how it was in the that's how it was in the olden times, and that's bad girl. That's how we're gonna do it now. But uh, yeah, but like seriously, like you know, I didn't. I'm, I'm the type of person who just freely does that because I believe that credit, you know, t that giving credit where credit is due, and, you know, these people definitely deserve it, but uh, I don't know which one to choose, oh, but, uh, you know, it's just, it's really important to, to help your friends out, I think this is the, I think the other way led to the treasure chest, this is all breakable, by the way. But yeah, so, mini rant on, on helping out in the Let's Play community. Not really a rant, but just, uh, I'm asking people if, you know, just don't, don't think that you're, uh, what you say or what you do doesn't count, because I've seen a lot of people who have, 
you know, helped, uh, you know, helped each other with even the, the tiniest of, of gestures, and, uh, it's amazing sometimes. So, you know, if you like a Let's Player, just say, hey, you know, say it on, if you have a Twitter account, just say, hey, uh, this guy's a good Let's Player, check him out. Or, you know, retweet, you know, if he puts links of his videos, retweet them, or, uh, you know, do that, and, you know, whenever I ask for, like, stuff to happen like that on my, uh, on my, for my videos or whatever, like, it happens for certain, like, some people just do it all the time, and I'm really, like, thankful that they do, but, like, you know, like, that other people just, like, re say, okay, fine, and retweet that, uh, a link, you know, that day, and then just stop doing it after that, so, um, you know, if this inspires you to help people out for a day, that's, that's awesome. If it inspires you to, to continuously help uh, other people out, that's that's even better, in my opinion. But uh, don't think that, you know, your actions are, are limited. Oh my god, it's the secret door! Don't think that your actions are limited just because you're, you're smaller than other people, or, you know, or you don't do something on a con uh, constant basis, you know, if, if you don't retweet stuff on a constant basis, if you don't, like, you know, mention people on a constant basis, it doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't mean that, uh, that no one's gonna listen to you when you do do, when you do those things, but it, you know, it's, it's common courtesy, it really is. Uh, I'm not saying that I am asking specifically for stuff like that to be done for me, but, I'm asking that in general, you know, let's players just have common courtesy for each other, helping each other out, uh, promoting each other, and I'm not saying like, you know, you have to go all out with, with some of this stuff, but, you know, some people can definitely do a lot more than they are. Okay, how the heck am I supposed to get up there? Yeah, I agree. Um, must be somewhere I can destroy the ground here. Maybe go down this way. Oh, yeah, I forgot to continue this path. Wonderful. <laughs> the ending music notification module. It's so beautiful. Ha, ah, you almost got me. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to- that's all I have to say about that, as Forrest Gump would say. So anyway, we're just searching- haha, <laughs> you troll. We're just searching for the uh, treasure room, which this should be it. You know, I figure since we did the 50 coin thing in the last board, let's do it easy in this one. I'll show you how easy that is. Um, and why I'm choosing not to do it. It's pretty much like, okay, just just watch. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You could recite all 50 states in the amount of time that it does that. No, not all, like, 50 states. Like, the sentence. All 50 states. And we got someone's knee, apparently. That's wonderful. Uh, that's 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 great. We got someone's knee. I hope he doesn't need it. <laughs> I hope he doesn't need it. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Anyway, let's get out of here. This episode's gone long enough. My rambling has been rambletastic, and yeah, I have to go all the way around. This is like a giant swirl. So, this has been several- well, yeah, I have to do that thing. The after game. Game. The game, 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 game. And I still got a whole bunch of coins. 2093, what a great year. It's a one or a four. It's a one or a four. That is not a four. <laughs> it's a seven! Ah! No. 1943. That was World War II. That was in the middle of World War II. That looks like a 
Anyway, this has been Sephiroth 204 with Wario Land 2. Thank you so much for watching. And next episode, we might actually be finishing this portion of the game. Uh, this story arc. So, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.